Hello everyone, my name is Luke Shaw and welcome back to another video. Today, I don't know why I got my hands. So, I am officially a Warhammer channel. A hat slash gaming channel. I really want to just have a lot of fun with my games and stuff. I don't really know what I want to get into. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I don't want to take it seriously. Like, I just want to, like make YouTube videos and stuff and just do it for fun because I'm not doing it for a business or anything. Uh, it's everyone's dream to be a massive YouTuber and be successful but honestly I want to just cap cast for the, the best moments of my life and if I have a... I think the, what the channel needs is a direction where it should go to and I just think that Warhammer is just the right cause. Gaming is awesome but um, and I'm still not upload gaming videos, but it just as not much as I used to. So I think this is the right direction, and I think this is the way I want to go. Um, so I want to be disgusting like the lion. And um, his return to the 40k universe and how um how much of a big impact this is because um he been asleep for like 10,000 years and Gilliman has been like carrying the um Imperium and because the Imperium has been then a whipping from chaos from Tyranids they're not in a good place right now they are in a really very very shitty place at the moment and they didn't hammered like the Empire wasn't what it was when it, there was the Great Two Crusade, and they just got wrecked. <laughs> um, I think the, the biggest threat is definitely Dolby the Tyranids. That's that that has been said by the Imperium. Is that um oh, who who um Necron said that um that Tyranids were Dolby the biggest threat the galaxy will face but I just think that it, it's scary like I would not be, want to be a godsman how, how no I don't want to die <laughs> um yeah imagine just getting absolutely wrecked by um a turn engine your lovers eaten and uh and you are uh, and you just get affected by AIDS or something by maggots that they're shot by bullets and stuff. Not really, not a fun way to go. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's right big. So Lionel Johnson is is a pli primarch of the Dark Angels. He's um, he is probably one of the most mightiest of primarchs, and his legion, his army of Dark Angel. Uh, Space Marines are probably the most powerful weapons because they are called. I mean, uh, Lionel Johnson is called the Executioner, so he gets the uh, job done by the Emperor. Um, I didn't really say that well. Um, he's the Executioner of the Dark of the Imperium. No, not the Executioner. I mean the Exterminator. <laughs> and even that word, like that's just such a big word because you know. He can just keep, like wipe out any enemy because they have very forbidden weapons, like really like Death Star kind of weapons in their arsenal. But they haven't even showed some of them yet, so they have a lot of tools. I think they don't have the right tools to wipe out the Terranids or something. They they might be a big threat, but the Imperium has some weapons up their arse. They have some massive fuck off weapons. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just great to see Lionel Johnson. I love the way he looks. His model looks awesome. He has a beard. He looks a bit older, a bit wiser. I think that's really cool. And everyone's just gonna look up, look up to him for wisdom and stuff. But yeah, I mean, he has a lot of stuff to saw. First, he's gonna have to meet Gilliman, and Gilliman and them don't really, they don't really connect. They uh they have a lot of issues. Uh, Lionel Johnson is quite autistic <laughs> because he's been in the forest slaying monsters on his own, trying to survive. I don't even know how how he did that. 
I can't even piss it in my head, like, massive chaos monsters and stuff. Oh, supper's ready. Alright, cool. I'll be back. So, I am back. And I just ate in some meatballs. It was very tasty. I stuffed them up my ass. And it was a great time. Anyway, back to what I was saying. What, what was it? Yeah, I was talking about Lion Johnson and Dark Angels, right? So, Lionel Johnson is back. And Humanity's Darkest Hour is 10,000 years since... Galaxy is kind of shit at the moment. Like, half of the galaxy is kind of in chaos. <laughs> kind of in chaos. And, um, Angron, the demon pr uh, Primarch, is, uh, destroying a lot of worlds and stuff. And there's, there's, um, there's a demon, um, blacksmith or whatever, uh, weapons, uh, smith that's making tons of fuck lower weapons in Warhammer. And, um,. Yeah, the chaos is tried strong at the moment. I think I think um the Tyranids are stronger obviously. Because but right now uh Chaos is tried strong at the moment. Um they have half of the galaxy at its throat at the moment, so yeah, it's not good. It's not good for them. But uh I think the Imperium has some hope now because of Lionel Johnson returning. And I think he might be the one who kills Angron. But Angron's tight, like he's tall, like he have you seen him? Like his height is massive compared to Lionel Johnson. So Lionel Don Johnson is not be fighting a, a dragon, a wrestle dragon, because he's freaking huge. Um Yeah, uh, hopefully. I really thought the lion was the the Venzing son of the Emperor, but it turns out that um um, G Gilliman is the Venzing son of the Emperor. <laughs> I really thought that. Um, but yeah, Lion, the Lionel Johnson is the uh, exterminator of the Emperor. He he brings out massive weapons and he wants to destroy Imperium's enemies and stuff. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk about. So Lionel Johnson has a lot of effects and his reason. These offsets are like, for example, he has like a, um, a, a spaceship that is basically like a forge, a forge that makes weapons like a fuckload of really powerful weapons and stuff. And he can use, and he and his reason can use this to great ability to wipe out the enemies of the Imperium. Sure, I repeat myself a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to cuss this down, so Narnia is coming back, so strap down, I really want to see their um, Gullimans and the Lion, uh, Lionel Johnson's connection and see how well they, um, because I don't think they don't, I think they might fight at first, we'll see, um, but they have to work together if, if the Imperium is not survive. Because the Imperium is very realistic at the moment. Like, they, they, they're not really going into a psycho kind of race. They go into more of a, um, into a re realism kind of like the Pope has all the power again. And, um, and the thing is, like, if Gilman were to, like, try to stop this realism and the Pope, the Pope would just. Star civil war and humanity can't has that have that at the moment. So government was try smart with that choice. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's a Warhammer update at the moment. So guys, I I'm really excited for this channel. Like I want to do like I want to have a bit of fun. Like I want to do hard games on my own. I want I want you guys to see my reaction. Um, I just want to have a lot of fun with this channel. I want to do some Warhammer. Uh, play with friends, game with friends like. But let me know what you want for my channel, because this is what I, I just don't want to do this for fun. I don't want this be, become professional or anything. If it does the big, I probably will, but for now, I'm just having fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you like, leave a like, and it help out our channel a lot if you subscribe. And hopefully you like my channel. If you do want to become, if you do want to support my the content that I do, uh, pay, you can uh, pay me on Patreon. Uh, if you do, I put your name in the in the end, and I will try to pronounce your name probably in Spanish. Who knows? Anyway, bye everyone. Have a good have a good one.